Hey, it's Cobra here at MaddenGuides.com, and I want to show you a defensive play that I like to run that helps defend against the four verticals passing concept. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the two plays, the offense and defensive plays that we're going to go ahead and use for this video breakdown. So let's go ahead and take a look at the offensive play first. And the offensive play that we're going to use, you can find this one out of the Chiefs playbook. It's called Gun Y Off Trips for Verticals. That sends four receivers on vertical routes with the running back running a delayed curl, back, curl route out of the backfield. And then we're on the defensive side of the ball, what we want to use here is a play out of the quarter normal that's called cover four drop. So we're going to take a look at these two plays, and we're going to show you how to go ahead and defend the four verticals passing concept. So let's go ahead and take a look at it on the field here as we go through it. And... As you can see, as I pointed out or talked about earlier, you've got four receivers running four vertical routes. So as you look at it, these are the four receivers. And then you also have the running back who's coming out of the backfield on a delay curl. So those are your four receivers and or five receivers plus the, the running back coming out of the backfield. Now, we're going to go ahead and run this against this defense. It's cover four drop zone. I'm not going to make any any pass uh, route adjustment, or excuse me, any kind of adjustments as far as on the defensive side of the ball because I just want you guys to see it. And then we'll show you some things you can do to maybe help out a little bit. Even though this defense itself is pretty good as far as defending the four vertical routes, maybe not so much the running back, and we'll talk about that later in the video. So let's just go ahead and run this without making any adjustments as we uh, run to play. One of the things I'm going to do here is I'm just going to force the ball into the tight end. And I just want you to see that he's pretty well covered. And that's usually the receiver that most players look to lock onto when they run this play. They'll look to throw to him as far as trying to hit him. And he's pretty well covered, as you can see on your screen here. He's real hard to try to make that throw. And there's just so many defenders in that area. Now, the another receiver that you might find guys trying to hit, at least as far as vertical, is going to be this receiver here, which is the slot receiver. Now, they may try to hit him, but he's covered pretty good, too, as far as I've seen on this way. And again, he's not going to have a whole lot of options there to throw to. He's pretty well covered right there, as you can see. Now, the one receiver that they can throw to if they have enough time, is to wait for this running back to come out of the backfield, and then they can hit him on a delay curl, and obviously there is a lot of a lot of room for the uh, the running back. Or the other option would be, let's see if we can get this to go here, would be to have, have the quarterback, oops, I kind of messed up a little bit, I was trying to do there, but you can have the quarterback take off and run. Let's do this again, same thing here. Hopefully I won't screw it up. Sometimes my hands are a little, a little, a little tricky on there. So you can see that he can take off and run there, and pick up some positive yardage there. So that's the other downside of this. And obviously, if they were to run the ball with a running back against the quarters normal, there's some downsides to that too as well because against quarters normal, obviously running the ball is pretty effective. So with that said, there's some things you can do to try to help out a little bit on the defensive side of the ball because you know you've got the deeper routes covered with this defense for the most part. I, it's real hard to throw that in there, especially if you got some stick. You can certainly take away a lot of that stuff. So one of the things that I might do is I'd go ahead and switch to this defender right here, which is the nose tackle, or I might even switch to one of the defensive ends and put them in QB spy. In this case, we'll just put the nose tackle. Keep in mind, if you do the nose tackle, one of the things you might want to do is put a defensive end that's got some speed in at the nose tack tackle position, mainly because if you're playing against a team that's got a fast quarterback, then it's kind of senseless and pointless to have a nose tackle trying to defend him because he's probably just going to run past him anyway. So that's something you can do if you want. Um, if you also have a team such as the Chargers that's got a uh, an elite defensive end such as what the Chargers have right here, then that's nice because you wouldn't want to put him in QB spy because you'd want him to come after the quarterback because he might be able to get by against two blockers. So that might be an option there too. So keep that in mind. I would definitely recommend maybe putting a faster defensive uh, player in at that nose tackle position. Or if you wanted to, you could always switch over to the um, to the to the one of the ends that isn't the next factor if you have one. If you have that type of player, then switch over to the other defensive end that's not an X-Factor and maybe put him in QB Spy. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and have the nose tackle in QB Spy. Now, I want to go ahead and run this with this point on. I want to add one more thing to it, actually two more things. So we're going to go ahead and spy. I want to spy this quarter or this uh, tight end just to add some more, even more to him. So here's your tight end. This is uh, you know real elite tight end that they have as far as on their side of our ball, as far as the Chiefs. So you want to go ahead and spy him. And so we're going to put a uh, spy on him. So to do that, not spy on him, but to put a, um, to add some extra coverage to him. So let's go ahead and hit the coverage audibles, then hit the A button, or if you're playing on the PS4, hit the X button, 
And then you're going to go ahead and bring this up here. And then you notice you got Kelsey here. And then you're going to go ahead and hit your A button to go ahead and defend him. So you can see right here is the guy I'm talking about. You want to hit your A button to go ahead and go ahead and hit that next. And then you're going to go ahead and hit the A button again, which is right here. You're going to go ahead and spotlight the receiver. All this does is just adds some extra coverage on him, extra attention. And since he's really the one that a lot of players look to throw to, you can go ahead and add that, and that's not going to hurt your defense at all. And something else, I'm not going to really show it in here, but if you were to take control of this guy right here, which is the safety, this is the strong safety, if you were to take control of him, now keep in mind, he is dropping back. And again, this is if you got really good stick. You, you, you can take control of him right here. He's dropping back. And then your real main thing is just to go ahead and make sure that this receiver doesn't get open. So you can kind of watch him yourself. And you're also going to have another defender that's going to come and help you on that guy. And this is the, that defender right there. He'll be in position to help out as well. So you'll have two guys that are going to be in position to defend that. So you're going to take away the tight end, and you're also going to take away the, the slot receiver there on the right. And by putting, as I talked about earlier, as far as this guy, which is that nose tackle, as far as putting him in QB spy, you're also going to take away the, the opportunity for them to throw the ball to the running back underneath or take off of the quarterback providing that you got enough speed at that position. So let's go ahead and run it this time, and uh, you'll see what happens here. See right there, you can see that he's in the right there, and he just makes the tackle, don't pick up any yards. So that's what I was talking about with this play. You can pretty much take everything away with this one, with this one simple defense, without having to do a whole lot. I do want to add one more thing to it, and we'll do it real quick here as we go here. But let's just watch the instant replay real quick. And you can see right there, there is just no one to throw the ball to. Uh, if you if you try to force that into the tight end, he's probably going to get it batted down by either the linebacker or that uh, defensive back that's dropping back. So as you look at it, you can see that this guy's covered, this guy's covered, this guy's covered, this guy's covered, and this guy right here, which is the running back underneath, they're all covered. That's really not a whole lot to throw to. And again, if the quarterback tries to take off, hopefully you got that nose tackle fast enough, he can take that away. And uh, that's really it on that as far as that goes. The only other thing I want to add to this that if you have time to do, and this is really up to you if you have the time, but you definitely want to go ahead and at least put that guy in QB spy. If you got time, uh, go ahead and call the coverage audible. Go ahead and highlight or spotlight the uh, receiver that you think is the most one that they're going to throw to. In this case, it's almost always tied in. That's the one they're going to look to throw to, and you still got enough time, which you may not. Go ahead and call bump and run if you want, which is fine because you're just going to make it look like you're in like maybe a cover two man or something just to try to give your opponent something to look at. And then if you got time, you can switch over here and maybe bring this guy up in the box if you want, if you want to control him. And then you're out, and again, as on the defensive side of the ball, you're just watching this guy over here. You want to try to help defend against this guy here if you're in control of him. So hopefully this is something you guys can use if you're having problems with the four verticals concept. Try try this cover four defense, uh, cover, cover four drop out of the quarters normal, and hopefully it'll give you some success as far as defending that. So... Hopefully that's something you guys can use. And also don't forget to go ahead and check out the uh, Madden Guides YouTube channel by subscribing it to it. I appreciate it if you guys keep doing that. We're kind of building up the site or at least the YouTube channel a little slow, but it's, you know, I'm getting people on here. Don't forget to check out MaddenGuides.com for this breakdown with lots of images and text. So it's a lot more in depth than just the video breakdown, although the video breakdown is obviously pretty in depth as well. And uh, don't forget to check out the Twitter and the Facebook pages that we have for Madden Guides as well.